All right, welcome back. Riddle Cook eating more. It's review time. Actually, I got a review crew. Yep, I'm Aaron. I'm Matt. So Matt's a resident Kansas City fan, for real, because he's from Kansas City. So There you go. And then uh, we're kind of a Kansas City, you know, kind of like the redhead stepchild fans, I guess. You know, <laughs> since we uh, St. Louis can't keep a football team, so maybe we'll get another one. I don't know. Who knows? And here we are. And then we'll lose the third one. But however, so I'm going to let Matt tell us. Matt kind of told me about this here, about the review. What? Want to tell us about the review? Um, yeah, I noticed that uh, found online that there was an article on uh, these Travis Kelsey select meal uh, sides that available exclusively to Walmart. So um, I had uh, reached out to my friend Doug, check these out, and here we are, seeing how they are. We're gonna try them. All right, so. All right, we're gonna give these a try. These are all, uh, they're sold in the refrigerated section at Walmart. Um, they are uh, microwavable, so that's the, the directions on them, just, you just microwave them. Are we gonna microwave them or are yeah. we gonna put them on a cooktop? No, we're gonna microwave them. Okay. We're gonna do it like it says. So we gotta decide. So anyways, we got, there's other flavors, there's other ones too, but uh, this is the three that they had. So I picked up uh, the barbecue beans and burnt ends, uh, mac and cheese burnt ends. And then they have a sausage and meatball marinara with peppers and onions. So, so two kind of barbecue items and one a uh, little something different there. So, so what do we think we're going to, what's so going to be the best one you think? I'm, well, I'm torn. Uh, I, uh, me, I think it's going to be between the mac and cheese and the baked beans. I, I second that. I'm going to probably say the mac and cheese, depending on the baked beans. That I does look really good though. Yeah. yeah. It really does. And then, I mean, this is going to be good too, the, right. the sausage and meatball, but. What do you think, Matt? Which one? Yeah, um, it's going to be a three-way tie for me, so. Three-way tie? All right. Yeah. All right. I can't wait to dig in. They all look good. What do you think Taylor would think of these meals? I think uh, she would be thrilled to have them. And I'm sure Travis is serving them. He serves them up to her, doesn't he? <laughs> yes. He does. Yeah, I bet he does. I bet he does serve them up. Yeah. Or maybe Taylor's people serves it up to both of them. I don't know. But, uh, all right, so. Give us a second here. We're going to go. Which one are we going to go with real quick? What are we starting with? Uh, let's do the mac and cheese first. All right. Mac and cheese. All right. Let's get that heated up. We'll be back. All right. We're back. So we got, as you can see here, we uh, got the mac and cheese version here. You can see it's some nice little mac and cheese noodles and some, some little baby burnt ends right there. All right. That's pretty good. Took this thing three and a half minutes. It's in a little plastic pouch. You slid it three and a half minutes, let it sit a minute, open the pouch out, dump it out, and you're ready to go. Quick dinner. So let's get this served up and see what it's all about. All right. All right, let's give it a try. Good. Careful, it's hot. I think got some mac and cheese flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. I like it. I like it too. Mm hmm. I give it a thumbs up. I think Taylor may spit it out if she ain't got this. I think she, <laughs> I think she lives pretty high, pretty high on the hog. But, uh, but for us normal folk, that's good stuff. That is good actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I totally get this again. Mm -hmm. So, so our resident KC fan here, approves. Touchdown. Touch, approval. Touchdown. Aaron, what do you think? I like it. Me too. I can't wait to try the other two. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is good. Can't wait to see what the other two have in store for us. But this one's a win for sure, so let's uh, let's jump to the next one. We want to do the, you want to split it up, do the meatballs and uh, sausage, and then yeah. we'll finish it with the, some with more burnt beans. Big beans. Yep. beans. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. All right, perfect. So first one's a win. We'll be back with the next one. Wow, all right, Bax. Woo! Hey, we got Baxter in the house. Baxter in the house. All right. We are back. The second one. So we got sausage and meatball marinara or peppers and onions. Meal number two. Let's take a peek at it. Oh, it looks pretty good. Only thing that's missing is some pasta. <laughs> a little yeah, pasta would be nice. That would be nice. All right. Let's dish it up. Grab your thing here. Grab your boat. Get a 
Get a couple sausages. Get a sack. We'll divvy out the sauce here in a second. Who wants two sacks? Two sacks. Aaron, you get two sacks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me position these correctly. Fair enough. This baby. is an adult. Uh, this is a <laughs> chef. Yeah, I don't think you need to be putting them like that there, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Dig in. All right. Let's give it a try. Careful, it's hot. This may be a little, a little hotter. Travis Kelsey sausage and sacks right here. If I were to guess, meatball. <laughs> this would be Taylor's favorite. <laughs> the meatballs. Mm-hmm. And sausage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Matt? I tried the meatball. The meatball's really good. Do you Easy. think this? Would, think of the, the three I picked. This would be Taylor's favorite. Possibly. Hopefully, we'll find out. I think, like you said, though, a little pasta with this. Yeah. But it's good. this one's good too. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I enjoy yeah. it. So we got some pork sausage here. I'm liking the flavors of it. Yep. Yeah. All right, Travis. That's two wins right there. Two wins, Travis. See if you can uh, see if you can go three for three. Yeah, bring it home with the beans, beans and burn ends. But this one, <clears throat> this one's good too for sure. Probably I'd say like. You could do this with a, a meal for two people and then like a salad or something, you know? Yeah. But Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely ain't gonna feed four people out of this. Alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get this one finished up here. And then uh I can't wait to try that last one. We're gonna get that last one. We're gonna get that last one fired up here, so we'll be back. Alright, we're back. So we got our final <coughs> Travis Kelsey kitchen meal here. We got the barbecue burnt ends. Or beans, barbecue baked beans burn ends. My bad. Get a little shot of that. Looks good. Smells good. Smells real good. Yeah. You can smell the brown sugar. All right, let's get it divvied up here. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Careful, it's hot. Forewarned you. I think that might be my favorite. This? Yes. I like the bacon. Brown sugar, the baked beans, good combination. Yes, yeah, it says it's baked black beans and white kidney beans with brown sugar, bacon, onions, and seasoned beef brisket burn in. What do you think? Good. Oh. I know. I think I got a different favorite though. What do you think, Matt? What's your favorite? Um, I think these are really good. Uh, get them again, but I'd have to say if if you're gonna them. rate them, if you're gonna rank them, I would probably rank the uh, sausage and meatball with peppers and onions my favorite. Number one. All right, so Matt's favorite, Taylor's favorite, also I believe. That's just pure speculation, but mm -hmm. I think she'd like the balls and sausages <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. And uh, <laughs> what do you think? This by far is my favorite. Oh shoot. So we got this. Beans. And then second, the macaroni. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, followed by the sausage and meatball. I'm going mac and cheese number one. Wow. For me. <laughs> oh, we have a different number one. Yeah. I'm doing mac and cheese. Wow. But you second. One. I'm gonna probably say the I'm going right in the row we went. So second would be the Taylor's favorite. Sacks right. and sausages. And uh and then third. I mean, they're all good, but they are all good, yes. But if I went back to the store, I'd definitely, you know, I would definitely grab. Them. And it caught my eye too, the mac and cheese, that golden deliciousness, you know. So I'd definitely get that again for sure. Yeah, you can't go wrong. With mm -hmm. None of them. No. Price-wise, these were all like, I think around ten bucks a piece. Now they're out. They have sliced brisket, I think, or something like that. Um, now it's like I think I, I looked at thing like fourteen bucks or something like that for that, but that must be good because that was like completely wiped out. So there we have it. There we have it. So not bad, Travis. You're doing all right. Got little snacks here. Yep, you got some decent little meals there. Got you a hot woman right now. <laughs> Watch money. Good thing.
All right. You guys want to do a bonus review dessert? That sounds good. All right. Be right back. Let me go grab our, our bonus review here. All right. So here for our bonus, we got some, uh, when I was at Walmart picking these up, uh, walked by the Happy Apple. So a lot of people are familiar with Happy Apples, I'm sure, this time of year. So we're going to give these a try. These ones are look like uh, they got uh, nuts, caramel apple topped with uh, chocolate and peanuts. Chocolate and peanuts on it. So let's tear into it. All right. Now, have you guys all had happy apples before? Oh, yeah. Baxter? Right, Baxter? Baxter? He's like, Baxter. Hey, he wants some happy <laughs> apple, <you> too. <laughs> have you had happy, happy apples? All right. You've had them, Matt? No, I have not. You have not had a happy apple. No, I have not. This will be my first. I don't know if this is like a St. Louis company or what. I've had happy apples. I don't believe I've had it with like the chocolate the, in it. The stores always have them. They even had, they had these ones with orange and black sprinkles, like a Halloween one. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's dig in. That's a good dessert. Mm-hmm. Good way to cap off the Travis Kelsey Kitchen uh, dinner we just had. I agree with that. Yeah, these are good. You do got to worry when you get these happy apples. You know, sometimes you get a, a happy apple with a nasty apple inside. So, but these are good. So far, so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what do you think, man? Well, look up. Your first happy, a happy apple virgin. Yeah. <laughs> now, maybe they don't have these in Kansas City. I don't know when, when you grew up. I'm not sure. I don't know. I usually like to get a happy apple this time of year. So. What do you think about the chocolate on here? I like I've, that. I've never had one with chocolate. Yeah, like for the longest time they just did the nut ones. You right, know? they're coming on the nuts. Yeah, yeah. And, and now they got some different varieties now. They had like a, they had another one there. It's called called apple pie something or whatever. So, but yeah, I've seen like I've cinnamon seen some, on it. Yeah, I guess I didn't really pay attention. I've seen apple pie. I think I've seen one with the toffee on it and stuff. And yeah, so they got some variations for sure. But. Uh, well, that's it for this uh, review. So I think this is only the second review I've done in the history of my channel. So, right. and I got a, a review crew. So I feel like Rob from Poor Guy Outdoor Cooking, a YouTube channel. I, I enjoy to watch uh, him and his family do a lot of reviews, which is really cool. So it's the Poor Guy and the Review Crew, they call it. So, okay. Yeah. So they do. They check out a lot of stuff. So shout out to Rob at uh, Poor Guy Outdoor Cooking. You fools, be sure to check that out. Subscribe. All, All right. right. I'll be watching. Rob's going to be watching. Rob. Make sure you guys do it. All right, Rob. All right. So that's it for this one. Um, Chiefs play tomorrow. Chiefs play Denver tomorrow. Denver. 325 in Denver. All right. Now, I did hear Taylor's not going to be at the game. She's back on her tour. That's correct. And I also heard that uh, Travis is going to be uh, going on tour with her, like her international tour, apparently. That, that is what we're hearing. Now, do you think Travis is going to perform anything on stage? We'll have to wait and see. All right. That's exciting. So some people are probably sick of this Taylor stuff. Some people say it's a little overplayed. What do you think, Matt? Especially during the games? No, I think it's great because yeah. uh, a lot of times they cut uh, between plays to the crowd. When I see Taylor and, and welcome all the Swifties to Chiefs Kingdom. Yep, Swifties. Swifties, I like it. Yeah. I like some Tay-Tay. Tay-Tay, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. We try to keep this family here. So we're going to go on and get out of here. So. See you on the next one? Yeah. We're going to see you in the All next right. one. So Pre Appreciate it, Doug. All right. No Thank problem. You. Thank, Thank you. you, Matt. Thank you, uh, Aaron, yep. for being my uh, fill-in review crew. There so, you go. Because my dogs would review. Glad but to be here. I don't have a lot of input. So, But anyways, that's it for this one. We'll see you on the next one.